All right, I'm back. How's everyone doing? I'm Rich Chalenza, back in my bathroom. I am actually doing another video to help men when it comes to grooming. And today what I'm going to get into is how to put on tanning lotion correctly. I think a lot of dudes and women out there, one is put the lotion on incorrectly. They put on way too much or not enough. And if you watch any of my videos, I'm trying to help men or just people in general live a really uh, incredible life affordably. Because I think a lot of times people think you have to be a multimillionaire or spend a lot of money to look a certain way. Is it necessarily the truth? Let's call it for what it is. If you're somebody who can't afford to be consistent with spray tans or you can't afford to go to a salon, tanning salon, uh, this is a great way to save a lot of money and still look good. Now, I live in Florida and I've lived in California. So for the most part, since I was 18 to now I'm in my 50s, I've always had access to the sun. So if I needed to get a tan very quickly or keep a certain color, I can do that. But also what a lot of people may not realize too is when you live in a warm climate like that, you kind of get very tan at times because depending on what you're doing and then you may get paler, right, as time goes on. And you kind of want to be consistent. So regardless if you're in the Midwest, say the East Coast or somewhere cold where you obviously don't get a lot of sun, uh, sometimes when I've lived in, say, Chicago, I kept a pretty consistent tan with the tanning lotions, almost more consistent than when I was living in a warmer climate. So let's put that all aside. Um, the creams I use, first of all, I use a certain specific brand. I've used it for the last 10, 11, 12 years. Reason being, I might as well just show it to you now, this Jergens hair. Uh, they have a couple different styles and this is the one I use. This is the one I like. And believe me, I'm not getting paid or anything from this. I'm just being genuinely honest with you is they have a medium to tan one and that's the one I go with. They have a, another one that I think goes from light to medium. I don't get a lot out of that. I'm just telling you right now. Um, but this natural glow jurgets is really good. They also have one that's for women regarding cellulite. That one smells different. This one really doesn't have a smell. So it's kind of easy to mistake the two, but this is the one you really want to get. One of the reasons I like this, just like I previously said, it doesn't have a smell out of all the brands that I've used before. Also, it doesn't stain a lot of my clothes. It's kind of light. And if you use this lightly, you're going to get a tan. And the thing too with this one that I really liked is it's not as orange. A lot of tanning creams come on when you put them on, they're orange. Now, here's the thing though. Depending on your skin tone, the way you, you know, your whole body reacts to these creams or any certain cream, you know, any style cream, it's going to be different than how it reacts to mine. I tell people all the time, I can put this cream on, I may get a certain type of tan and somebody else puts it on, it doesn't work or it goes too orange or it goes too dark. It may even smell differently. You got to find what creams work best for you when it comes to self tanning. I just have a newsflash for you. These things can range from 10 to $13 roughly. And what we're going to get into when I'm talking about how to use this properly is we're going to get a lot more out of it than maybe what you got out of it before. It's going to last longer. So the one problem I see more than anything regarding putting self-tanner cream on is putting too much. What we're going to do is we're going to first, less is more. You have to understand it. This is going to probably, if you've ever used self-tanner, uh, going to last you a lot longer than probably you've done before because you've probably put too much on too quickly and you want to get tanned too quickly. And most of the time, that's not going to work. I'm going to tell you why. It looks orange. It looks fake. It looks forced. We're going to progress into this slowly. What we're looking at is kind of building up a tan to probably six to nine days. We'll be showing color in one, two, three days. But they actually look kind of tan where it looks authentic. Not where you have all these different marks all over your body or some parts are tan, some are pale. And I'm also actually going to get into the face after this, just a heads up. So if you're watching any of this, the next, I'm going to show you the body, what I do, the tricks, and then I'm going to get into the face because it's just as important. And I love this cream as well. Again, it's a Jergens Natural Glow. Same thing, medium to tan. I want these two to match my body. All right. Kind of common sense, but that stuff's great. Again, find what works for you. I'm just saying this has worked for me over the years. It's pretty affordable and I can find it everywhere. So it's usually at Target, CVS, Walgreens, they're all there. Sometimes you may fall in love with a certain cream, let's just say a certain, you know, cream like this, a brand, and then they only sell it, say, hypothetically at a CVS. But then you go to another CVS, they don't have it. Then you're kind of screwed. Then you go to another one, they're out of it. Or whatever the case may be, kind of find a brand you can get anywhere. Uh, I think that's really just very important because then you can be consistent with it. 
All right, so first, I'm not gonna be putting a lot of this cream on. I'm not gonna sit here with a shirt off and do the whole bit. I, I'll feel like a jag off. I just don't wanna do that. But I am gonna kinda show you some things and explain exactly what I'm talking about. But for starters, you may have, say, used a self-tanner and you put it on like you'd put on any other cream. Say like a moisture, like a body lotion, right? Say something like that. And what you normally do, like a lot of people, like men especially, I'd say you just squeeze a whole line on here, right? Mm. Which makes sense, then you put it on your body. We don't want to do that with this, in my opinion. I've done it. I don't want to do it. Again, we want to progress into this slowly. We want to cover our body, right? Not with a ton. And as time goes on, some areas are going to be tan, you're going to notice, and some are not. Just maybe places you missed, whatever the case may be. And then we're going to kind of cover those as well. But we're going to gradually put this on. We are not going to cake this on. Because again, say I cake this on... I'm just telling you, then all of a sudden you come back, you may have a little orange ring here. It may be colored here differently. You'll have a spot here. That's not what we want. We want our body to look entirely naturally tan. So what I normally do, and I'm just going to do it here, it's drops about this big. That's about how big I start. Now, you may think I'm crazy. This, then I'll just put it here. What I want to make sure, too, is I'm covering my entire area here, back, right there. And I'm going to spray a little more and put it here. I don't want to keep doing it, right? So now I'm going to cover everything. Now what happens with a lot of dudes is, uh, and women, I think you're kind of done. You may just kind of rush through it here, like you do. But you got to realize you got all this area. I call it the frog belly. Sometimes you got this area, right? This you have to make sure everything is flowing. Now again, here I'll just do it again here. I am not putting a lot. You may think I'm not putting enough. Believe me, I am with self tanner. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna make sure I cover this entire arm, right? That's how I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna spin around. Those two drops is all I'm really gonna use. That's all I'm using. Now when I come to the hand, okay, here's the trick with the hand. When I come to a hand with face fake tan, again, this is very important because a lot of people see your hands. I may have even put too much there, but when I do my hands, again, I wanna make sure I get my wrist here because when you use fake tan or a lot of this gets funky orange, especially under here. We don't want that shit. We're going to go here, but we're going to go above the hand into the fingers here, but on top of the fingers, on top there and there. We are going to wash our hands when we're done. I can't even show But when you wash your hands, you're going to be washing this way and in between your fingers this way. We want to make sure there's no tan cream in this area. You see a lot of people that self tan. Then you look at their hands, they're orange. We don't want that shit. But when we're washing our hands, we also don't want to wash them after we self-tan and wash everything off that we just put on. So basically, like I said, you're washing your hands, you put the soap in, you're going this way. Same with when using your toes at your feet. Want to wrap around the heel. We also want to go in between the toes. We don't want, like, you do your whole leg, your calf, and your feet are pale. We want to make sure we cover the entire foot, especially if you're going to be wearing sandals or your feet are going to be exposed in one way or another. So that's just the arm. Then I'm going to tell you right now, if you start doing your chest or your full body, again, we're just putting little drops. Make sure you're getting it fluently. A lot of guys like see me, I, my chest kind of drops. I have to make sure there's self-tanner under here. I'm not just going like this. I do not want to just be like covering it from top to bottom because then I'm going to be missing that underneath area. Okay. So I showed you how to do the arms there. That's pretty simple. And you do your stomach. This is what you got to start thinking about with self-tanner. Do you want a full body or do you kind of want, you know, tanning lines? A lot of people already have, say, tanning lines or they want to get rid of their tanning lines. I'd say get rid of them. Make everything look smooth. You may before have been thinking, no, I'm not going to do my, you know, my waist area or my ass or my front groin area. Save some money. I'd recommend kind of doing it all to a certain degree. Because, again, if you're going to wear shorts, uh, I don't care if you're in your underwear, if you're in a relationship, they see you. You don't want to look out of balance. You don't want to have too like an upper body that's tan and your legs pale or you're super tan up here again. Your midsection's white and your legs and calves and feet are tan. You can do that if you want. It may look a little more natural because if you're out in the sun, that's what it's going to look like. But if you have the opportunity, I would just use the lotion just to make sure you get a full kind of coat and balance to it. So if you are tan to a certain degree, you're just not as tan as you want, or say certain body parts aren't tan, kind of like the frog belly. I said a lot of guys, men and women, when they get tan, they have a tan. But again, if they come up here, this is white, right? It's very, you might just want to get some self-tanner and just, you know, touch up those areas. Same with your midsection, your groin and your ass, your legs may be tan. 
uh, and your upper body may be tan, but that's not. But you want to look just kind of full balance. So again, you can just get self-tanner to touch up certain body parts. I don't think a lot of people think of it that way, but it definitely makes a huge difference when you're entire body is tan compared to like having sections that are not especially again if you're going to wear different style shorts so if you're wearing cargo shorts one day say guys it's low right you get tanning lines down by the knee the next time you may put swimming trunks on now it's a lot higher now you're pale from basically you know from the cargo shorts up again i would consider putting lotion all over your entire body or tanning lotion so uh, now when we do the legs, very similar to the arms, we're going to put drops. We're going to obviously work our legs up and down. It's very simple. I mean, I don't need to show you this. I hope you know how to put lotion on your body. Um, the main important things I believe are the arms, the hands, and the feet. Just like I told you, you want to almost rub your feet in. And again, don't worry about washing the bottom of your feet because every time you take a shower, most likely they're going to get really washed. Um, but when putting fake lotion on your hands again, for like, uh, of course, we always have to wash our hands. Just try to avoid doing the top, like I said earlier, because you're going to keep washing it off. And before you know it, your arm and everything's going to be tan and this is going to be pale. So mainly just for the first couple days, just wash them like this. Then eventually, as you get that tan uh, going, you might want to wash your hands. Or before you go to bed, put some tanning lotion just to touch it up on top and that'll kind of bake in. You'll wake up and your hands will usually be very tan. So let's get to the back. A lot of people will self tan. They'll look, you know, they'll look pretty cool. They got a tan going in the front of their body. Guess what they forgot? Their back. Their back is pale. You can immediately tell. Because most likely if you're in the sun, one of the places that gets the most sun is your back, right? But then all of a sudden, if you see somebody who's super tan everywhere else and just their back is pale, you're going to kind of know. Now, again, if your shirt's not off, who gives a shit? But I'd recommend having somebody put some self tanner on your back for you once in a while, okay? Don't have to get nuts with it. Just have them do it maybe every other day uh, or at least even if it's once a week, but I would put more than once a week because also when you shower a lot of times, that water is hitting your back and it's hitting your back and washing a lot of that cream off. So if you could, as much as when you're putting on your self-tanner here, you want them to put the same amount, not a ton, just a little on your back as well because there's definitely areas you're not going to be able to you know, catch. I use a trick here too when I'm saying I'm doing the back of my shoulders. Say you stop here, this is all I can do. No, I take my arm and I push it. Now I'm all the way back. I can go way further. Same with here, I don't stop here, I push this back. Now when I'm putting a self tanner, I'm covering here. Same with this, I can push my arm back. Look how much space I'm covering. Here's a trick I use too, where I kind of put some cream here and then I kind of come here for my lower back. But for the most part, I'm only, same with here, I'm only gonna cover so much of my back. There's gonna be an area about this part that I can't touch or touch up, somebody's gonna probably have to help me with that if possible. All right, so again, less is more. We don't wanna look orange. We don't want it to look fake unless you want it to. I mean, that's on you. Uh, but I definitely, I'm not right now, I haven't, I live in Florida and I haven't been in the sun a lot. And I haven't even been putting the um, tanning cream on a lot myself, just giving myself a break from it. And I use, just use it as pieces. It's just an add-on because I can really right now go to the pool and get color. So like I was saying earlier, just you may consider using this, even if you're tan uh, and you want to be kind of a little more balanced, just using it once in a while, especially if you're going out or you're going to maybe a nice doing or somewhere and you're going to be taking a lot of photos. You just want to make sure you're properly tan and you're even throughout your entire body. Because a lot of times, even when you go out in the sun, you could lay a certain way like, you know, this part of my body's tan and this side isn't. And I'm going to go into that with our face next. So I use the face cream from the neck up, which I'm going to get into now. I use this, obviously, from the neck all the way down to the feet. All right. All right. All right. Before I do the face cream, I wanted to show you something, too, because I think a lot of people buy body lotions, right? And say you get down to this, and I save this for this video. Looks like you're empty, right? Just saying, like, if I'm squeezing it, really nothing's coming out of me. But one thing uh, I've learned over the years regarding this is there's a lot more in these. You just got to learn how to get to it. One trick I do, and I'll just do it now, is I cut the top first. Okay. Let's cut this thing very quickly. So I cut the top. Look how much cream is just in this section for this fake tan tanning cream. I can use a lot of this throughout my body, right? <clears throat> Now let's open this up. Now what's gonna happen is there's probably not gonna be a lot of cream from here to here though. 
Okay, I'll tell you. Let's cut it again. Okay. Now look at all the cream I have again. That'll at least probably cover my body at least two, three more times. So my point being, and you just put your hand in there. My point being is regardless if you use fake tan or cream or not, these style tubes a lot of time, if you cut them, kind of like toothpaste, you have a lot more cream in there that you can use up. Just something to think about. All right, when it comes to dudes, this is one thing I'm always trying to preach to them, especially if they're lighter skin and they want to look tan, is to start using a tanner for their face. It's not that expensive, these things. Same thing, I think they run about 12 bucks, maybe between 10 and 12 bucks. Again, you can get this style anywhere. And this isn't supposed to replace your facial cream. So I have facial cream, for instance. I'm going to a lot of times use this in the morning at night and this kind of a filler. And um, when it comes to this, I'm telling you it's a game changer, especially if you say you don't have a five o'clock shadow or a beard, right? And say you're bald and you're pale and you look like a sun. I talk about it all the time. We may just want to just get some natural looking color to your face, especially if you like wearing dark clothes. I don't care if it's black. I don't care if it's dark blues. Um, if you're, again, if you want to look white, very white, you know, and you shave your head entirely and your face, whatever, God bless you. But if you are somebody that really has never been consistent with, you know, um, I guess having a certain type of look, which having more color to your face a lot of times just makes a lot of different colors look better uh, on your body. You just look entirely different. So when I did my um, shaving, uh, I guess you could say tutorial, it, uh, I went into this regarding if you have a five o'clock shadow, let's say, or a beard, because a lot of people do now, wanting to make sure this matches this, I think. A lot of people are dark hair, and this is very pale which I am not down with. You could do whatever the hell you want. But I think when you tan up here a little bit, even just using some of this, and you're kind of darker here, it softens the look. It's a totally different look, okay? And, you know, also, it's not just about the face. I talk about, it's about the neck. A lot of times, too, and you can kind of see it on me because I haven't been doing it, and I didn't shave today, but a lot of guys, you know, you shave your neck or you have a certain line. This is pale. This is dark. This is pale. It looks whack. Or, right, this is dark from getting sun. This is darker, and then this is pale, and then this is either white or tan. Pay attention. You want to make sure you're, you know, you look from head to toe evenly, I think, skin tone-wise. So that's just, again, my point of view. So this is where I think a lot of people make mistakes. One is not putting the cream in a proper place. So here, a lot of people, I'll just use for they'll go like this. You know, right here. I'll just do that. And I put some up here just to... You don't go back far enough. You got to go all the way back if you're bald, especially if you have hair kind of like me. Now, if you're bald entirely and you want color, you want to make sure you blend it all in. Also, you can see sometimes some lines here, right? You want to make sure you get that in there, right? We want to make sure we get that. We don't want to be tan hair, pale hair, dark hair again. We want an even flow. Push everything up. We want to push our skin back all the time. All right. So now I'm going to start looking in the mirror because I want to make sure I'm doing this specific. Next, we're going to put little, you know, little droplets under our eyes here. We want to again make sure here all the way up, man. All the way. We want to make sure that is tan. We can't be like a lot of guys will just do this, right? They forget this. They're tan here and here, and this is white. We don't want that. We want to go up. There we go. Right there. Like you're putting eye cream on. We're doing there. We want to make sure we get that nose. Also, just again, little drops. We want to close our eyes. We want to get above here in between the eyebrow and our eyelids. Because again, we do not want to look everything tan. We close our eyes and we look like a raccoon reversed, kind of, right? All right, so now we got that. Now here. Now a lot of guys are like, all right, I'm done. I'm cool. No, you're not. What about in here? You know? We got to touch up these areas under there, under the nose. Again, when you see someone, we want them to look very naturally tan, equally like as if you got sun, not bits and pieces where this is like you, you, you put it here and you forgot this tan, tan, white. Okay. 
Even spots like this, a lot of people don't think about. So in here, you can see it's lighter. You just want to put a little streak in here, right? And you want to touch your eardrum, you know, your ears up a little bit and inside the ear. Same on this side. I'm just putting little, when I tell you little, little spots, that's not, that's actually even too much. So there we go. I'm getting there, behind there, getting the whole ear. Okay. Now here's the big thing too. The neck, like I talked about. We don't just want to cover the front of the neck. We want to get the entire neck. All right. Back to this. This, I'm going to have to put a little more. When we're doing the neck, I'm flowing it flowing it right into the other cream. A lot of times I do face cream first, then the other way, but you can do it either way. But here again. Now, if you swallow your Adam's apple, a lot of times I tell people it disappears for a second. So you want to put some cream in there like that way it'll be even. You don't hit it and go miss it or you don't hit it where it globs on. We don't want that. Now, here is a very important part, the back of the neck. Take your time, get the entire back, smooth it into the rest of your body. Don't just put it on and end it. You're, you may end up with lines everywhere. All right. Especially if you don't put a lot of, say, say you didn't use this, but you still want a tan face. I understand. You still have to make sure that this looks natural and it flows into here. You may even consider going lower and lower because if you're going to wear a shirt, you know, you want to look tan, say, for the day or whatever the case may be, or for a couple days. We want to make sure this is all, again, covered. We don't want to be tan, 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 tan. Then all of a sudden you see somebody and they're very pale. If they're wearing a, a V-neck or just a dress shirt, whatever the case may be. But again, make sure, take your time on your face. And I go over it a couple times. I make sure I cover every aspect of it. And I usually only use one hand for the most part, unless I'm doing... You know, when I'm doing my full body, I use both. But for this, I just kind of just keep working it and working it, making sure I'm getting everything and I don't leave little spots because what happens in a day or two or three days, you start to see, well, what did I blow there? What did I miss? If you kind of coat yourself very well, you're not going to miss anything. We don't want these globs or left little spots of cream because that little spot can turn orange and it, look, <laughs> it just looks ridiculous. So... Alrighty there, we should definitely be caught up here. No big deal, very easy. I usually do this too again, but that's how I put my, uh, basically my body lotion for fake tanner on when I do use it and my facial cream. And let me bring this up. Say you swim a lot, or let's just say you work out, you sweat a lot. You also may go into a pool. You may go into a jacuzzi. Uh, a lot of this is gonna wash off. I have a newsflash for you. You're going to be fighting this a lot, all right? Even taking a shower, like I take almost three showers a day. If I take one in the morning, I take one after the gym, and a lot of times at night, a lot of this washes off, but you got to be consistent with it, okay? If you're going to be washing a ton of this off, you're going to have to probably do it more times. I wouldn't say put more on. That doesn't work, if that makes sense. Putting more on again is just going to make it, in my opinion, and I've done it, look fake, phony, orange, doesn't look as natural. Maybe bringing your creams, like if you do work on uh, at the gym, you might want to do one then. I get good results, but sometimes uh, my girlfriend doesn't like this smell necessarily. I don't smell it anymore, uh, but it can also maybe sometimes stain your, uh, your sheets a little bit. Before you go to bed, I think a lot of times is a great time to put it on because it just soaks in throughout the night. Or if I put it on in the morning or in the day after I took a shower, uh, it's cool. But it seems like um, then when I go work out, I wash it off again, if that makes sense. And then after that, I go at night, I'm going to wash it off again. Where at night, I think I just have that seven, eight hours where it really just soaks in without me sweating or doing anything physical, I guess is what I'm saying. So I'm going to wrap it up there. Uh, if you get a chance, definitely check out my other videos on hygiene and grooming. I'm also talking a lot lately about fashion as well, uh, trying to help guys uh, just really save money when buying clothes or living a certain lifestyle. So got any questions or comments, hit me up, all right? Take care, and I wish you nothing but the best. Oh yeah, if you get a chance, subscribe.